Welcome to Gate 27, Concourse E at Atlanta's Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport. Hey everyone, I'm Patrick from Oakland Travel, and it's November 1st of 2023. We are about to board a Delta 767-400 extended range to do the non-stop flight from Atlanta over to London, England, landing at Heathrow Airport. And we are in the Comfort Plus section of the plane. And so they've just uh, called our boarding zone. And so we are off to uh, board the plane. A very good flight overall. Uh, a night flight, as is typical when you fly from the East Coast of the United States over to Europe. Uh, if you look at the itineraries of these different airlines, the majority of the time you will see these flights usually leaving somewhere on the east coast of the United States sometime in, in the evening of whatever the day it is. And then they'll fly overnight and you know typically arrive wherever it is in Europe the next morning. And um, this little part right here was really cool. You just walk right up, facial recognition, boom, you just keep right on going. Because uh, they had already scanned the passport at the check-in for the flight. And so I guess they already had the, you know, the image of me from the passport photo in the system and they had that tied together with the flight and so rather than having to scan the boarding pass they were able to just you know uh take my picture match the two up and say yep that's patrick and he's on this flight going to london and so on and so on but uh yeah as i mentioned <laughs> you, these flights usually leave the east coast in the evening various times and then, you know, a typical flight to Europe, almost no matter where you're going in Europe from the East Coast of the U.S., averages about eight hours. And a lot of that is going to depend on the jet stream, um, you know, and, and things like that, other conditions, and how fast the plane's going, etc. But that's about a, a good average is eight hours. And there I am. Uh, there's Maria. We're getting settled in. This is going to be our little home away from home for the next uh, seven hours and ten minutes. Now, notice that's a pretty quick... Uh, transition time because we were actually going to have a pretty nice tailwind behind us which was uh, pretty cool now coming back home it was the opposite we were coming it was taking longer to get back uh, from London over to Orlando just because of you know the sort of the reverse conditions but here we are situated in our Boeing 767 400 extended range this may not work until we're, oh, there we go. So we're gonna go right over Bangalore, Maine, and then straight across the Atlantic. Oh look, it's got a little simulation. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yep, that's what that's Extended range. That's exactly. So you think the are behind us. Set. Got a blanket pillow. Zip up, you know, deal to wear, bottle of water, treats, home. and then uh, these things are adjustable. So you can kind of adjust the as needed, which is kind of cool. So, for anybody uh, arriving internationally, landing in Atlanta, and transferring to a domestic flight, that right there, that's where their uh, luggage goes up into the system, apparently. <coughs> Did a lot of reflection off the glass, probably. Right? Federal law prohibits tampering with, disabling, or destroying resting smoke detectors. There are eight exits on.
about uh, 5,000. Thank you. 